Okay, we want to talk about a midday scenario. We're walking through the woods. I, a lot of times, use a turkey call for a midday locator. I don't use a lot of crow calls and that kind of thing to get a shot gobble. I'm usually drifting through the woods, and before I will ever put the call in my mouth, I'm looking around, trying to figure out where the roll in the hill is, where I can get to where a turkey will only see me from 35 yards, where I can use a bend in the road. I'm always looking for a setup position before I hit the call. The biggest thing you can do as a turkey hunter to prepare yourself is expect a turkey to gobble every time you call. And a lot of times, once I have my little setup, once I have a thick spot, a big, good tree, and when you're doing this, you always wanna start soft because you can always pick up the volume, but it's impossible to ever hit rewind on that kind of situation. So when I start, I will pick out my spot that I wanna sit in case it all goes down and I'll start with this. and I'll give that a second. He's thinking about it. He may have just raised a hair up on the back of his neck. He's looking, he's, he's thinking about it. And that's if he doesn't gobble, I'll raise the volume just a little bit more. Something like that. And if he still doesn't gobble, in my opinion, a turkey still listens to me. It's my job to try to convince him to crack one off so I know what to do. And so then, step number three. And then, hopefully you get a turkey to gobble. If not, stroll on down the ridge and check the next one.